joining YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia. I am a bikini competitor, online coach and posing coach and I am officially one day out for my first NPC bodybuilding competition. So we have finally made it to England after a few mishaps on the way. We were sat for two hours on the plane before we even took off. And then we got here really late so I couldn't show you anything. So I've been up for about two hours now, I've checked in with my coach, I've gotten my protocols for today which I will explain in a while. But first I thought I'd show you the gorgeous Airbnb we have booked. I have to say, definitely lived up to its standards. So I'll give you a little tour. So first we walk into the kitchen, which is very cute. Just a tiny little white kitchen. We've already got some stuff laid out. And then I've already done my makeup, so that's that. Here we have a bathroom, all in marble. I love it. Love it. Then we have a tiny little living room. And this man, I don't know, I think he came with the Airbnb. This is our view. We got a Marks and Spencer's there. Need to find some more shops to do my shop. And lastly, our bedroom. Tiny little thing. And that's me. This is the attire for the next day, especially after I get my tan. So yeah. Number one here, 80 grams of chicken and no butter. And I'm basically eating this six times today and that is it. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this up. It won't take me too long. And then I will explain everything that's gonna be happening today. I wanna see a cardio run. I'm not, I'm not. Fuck that, you more to do. Yeah. Oh, how are you? So I have just come out from my base coat of tan. I'm gonna be looking like an Oompa Loompa soon enough with a second coat tomorrow. And now I'm off to register. So we'll see what number I get and it'll be official that I'm competing tomorrow. cutting out water salt has already been cut out so my body will keep excreting water however i won't be taking any in therefore i will dehydrate or dry out as we say um so i've just been laying here and tears flew <laughs> tears flew i was bawling my eyes out for 
I would say no reason, but there obviously is a reason. I'm just very overwhelmed with all the emotions right now. I am very proud of the work I've put in. This has been such a difficult prep and the fact that I've even made it here is just such a win. You know, it did get to my head a little bit today seeing all the other girls at registration and tan and how I compare to them. <clears throat> and I know I'm just in my head, but a part of me really isn't ready to step on stage tomorrow. But I just need to remember that I love this and I'm gonna have fun up there no matter what placing, if I place, if I don't place, even if I'm last. I need to remember that I love this and I love the stage and I love the feeling of being up there doing my thing and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have fun tomorrow. So you probably won't hear from me today and next time you'll see me it will be show day. Hello, it's me again. It is show day not so morning anymore it is a little later than i planned to check in with you guys but honestly it's been a very emotional morning my emotions have been up and down things were going wrong i wasn't feeling it but i'm two meals in so as i said protein fats bit of chicken bit of nut butter wasn't gonna, i was going to show you but the meals are literally same as what you saw yesterday i'll show you my next meal when i get it in because it'll be interesting but yeah i'm all dressed up, the hair is done and I'm just about to pack up and go to my makeup appointment, then my second coat of tan, then I might get time to come back here and maybe check in with you again, if not you'll see everything at the venue, I'll film as much as I can and then as the name of the show, we'll get ready to rumble. I will check in with you very soon. Makeup is done, tan is done. Now we chill until about half eight. Backstage, all ready to go. Um, I just need to get my glaze, so that's just like a touch of a tan. Then we're gonna start pumping up, and it will be showtime. I just can't believe I'm here. I can't believe it. 
and my boyfriend's out in the crowd waiting for me. We made it. After 20 and a half of very difficult weeks, we have made it. Three categories ahead of me, a very late show. Time to have fun. It's time to have fun. It's time to do my best and enjoy every second on that stage. As I said, I am so proud of myself for even getting here. Next time you'll see me, I'll be on stage. Let's go, Olivia! Stays in front. Five forty two and five forty seven, please, switch places. We've seen it, we can leave the stage. Well deserved. So it is a good couple of days post show now and I've been trying to find the right time to film an outro for this video. So if you've seen my first video, I'm back in my pink chair and I thought I'd kind of summarize what happened and tell you about the plans going forward. So as you probably know now, I did not place, which means I wasn't in the top whatever line of girls. Um, in fact, I did get second call outs in all of the three classes. So it's obviously not what, not what I wanted, not what I hoped for. Um, obviously, as I said before, I knew I wasn't going to this show to win and I knew I wasn't fully in the condition that I needed to be in um, to, to get a medal. But even though I knew that, it, I have to say it still really got to me. Especially after the first time stepping off the stage, I I cried. I'm not gonna lie, I cried. Um, it, it hurt. It I have to say it hurt. Um, you know, from winning an overall last year in PCA, then placing at finals, standing at the end of a second call out line was painful. Um, not gonna lie, it did bring me down a little bit, a good bit. <laughs> but, you know, as I said, I knew I wasn't conditioned enough and I, I knew the girls that I was up against were better and I totally accept that. I completely agree with the, the judgment of the judges. But, you know, after the last rough off season that I've had, which I've touched on before, um... I am planning on doing a separate video about talking about my last post-show struggles but long story short I have a history of binge eating disorder and 2020 I started my first prep I was in and out of prep because of covid and cancelled shows and then I finally carried out a prep finished it nailed it to a T won my show came third of finals and then absolutely spiraled. I was binging on the daily. I couldn't control it. And I did put on 20 kilos, over 20 kilos actually, which made this prep very difficult. Um, we were this close to not even prepping because we didn't think I'd be <clears throat> mentally ready for it and that I'd, I'd screw up basically. 
my coach was very straightforward with me. He was like, Olivia, one slip up and we're pulling prep. I was like, no, I'm not going to give you a reason to pull this prep. I'm going to give it my absolute everything. And I will prove both to you and to myself that I'm worthy of being a future pro. And I know that's not this year, might not be next year, but I am a future IFBB pro and I know I can do it. So the fact that I've pulled it together after such a hard off season and carried out probably the hardest prep I'll ever have to do in my life, you know, running on zero carb for weeks, a lot of cardio, um, obviously with a physical job on top of that. Um, and trying to start my own business and posing and everything. So just the fact that I even made it to show day, I stepped on that stage I shifted over 20 kilos in 20 weeks, naturally. I mean, if that's not something to be proud of, I don't know what it is. I am so, so damn proud of myself for completing this prep, for stepping out on that stage, and most importantly, enjoying it. Even though I didn't place, I was standing at the end of the second call out line. I loved being on stage. And it felt just like it did last year. You know, I was in my element. I was doing my thing. My smile was 100% genuine. And then see my boyfriend in the crowd, see my coach in the crowd. And then seeing the pride in their faces when I stepped off stage. And having my parents call me and text me saying how they're so proud of me, how I'm the warrior and to always remember that I won the battle and the battle was much more important than a medal. And that is very true. You know, their pride and their support and the genuine love for the stage that I have means so much more than any medal could. And as I've mentioned before, this show was just a warm up. It was only supposed to be a warm up, and that's exactly what it was. You know, I got my feedback and the only issue the judges had with me was lack of conditioning in my lower body. That is literally it. So obviously I knew that, <laughs> I expected that, but the fact that there was no other feedback, negative feedback about my shape, like the balance or maybe a lack of muscle mass or my posing, which you know is very important to me as a posing coach, I take pride in my posing, I love posing, and it's a very important aspect of stepping on stage to me. So the fact there was no negative comments about my stage presence, my posing, um, my overall balance, the amount of muscle that I've built, that, that is huge. Like right now, it's literally just about bringing conditioning in the lower body. It's just about getting leaner. And that is exactly what we're working on right now for the next show. So I am currently sitting at 10 days out from the Arnold's. And I, I haven't been feeling too good about it. Um, we've been working very hard right now. Uh, I'm on two hours of cardio, zero carb, very low food. And I feel like absolute death. Work has been a struggle, but thankfully I only have a few more days of work left before I get some time off before the show. But daily tasks. I cried walking up the stairs yesterday. I cried before going to bed. I'm, I'm exhausted. You know, I pull up to the house or I pull up to the gym and I have to sit in the car because I don't have the energy to get out. And I'm just so hungry. And the only thing that was really keeping me alive was sweeteners. So diet drinks, about five sweeteners in my coffee. And I drink a lot of coffee. And we've decided to, well, my coach decided, uh, we're gonna cut them out completely. Let me tell you the last two days, the hardest. The hardest I've had this prep, I'm not going to lie. I can do the cardio, I can not eat, but the sweeteners really hurt, man. But you know what? It needs to be done. 
you know, for a lot of people not placing or doing kind of bad, let's face it, let's face it, uh, at your show after having a very successful season the, the year before, it can really demotivate you. But I have to say, it sparked such a fire in me to bring a better package, to work harder than I ever have before, to prove to myself that I can do it, you know? And it's been a few days now, and I think I look better already. My scale weight isn't really showing that, but I feel leaner, I look leaner. However, the definition in the legs has still not come through. I still have no tie-ins, no teardrop glutes. So I need to be realistic right now. I have 10 days. A lot can happen in 10 days, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, there's only so much magic that can happen in a few days. But that doesn't mean I'm going to give up. I'm going to carry out my protocols to a T. I am going to do everything. I'm going to give 110% just to bring the best that I can because this is the most I can do right now. All I can do is bring the best that I can with the time I have. So yeah, I'm tired. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm an emotional roller coaster. But I am so determined. I'm so determined to prove that I can do it. Not to anybody else, to myself. Prove to myself. Make myself proud. Make my coach proud. Make my family proud. And yeah, that is literally it for this video. But you know, this is the year that will set me up for future success because after the rough off season that I've had, after this extreme prep, because let's face it, it was extreme. Even my coach said it himself, it's the most extreme prep he's ever put any of his clients through. You know, it's like, this is, this is the year that will shape me into who I'm going to be. And it has me more focused than ever regarding my next off season. I've already planned it out in my head. You know, I'm going to be honest, this time last year, I was in prep. I was coming up towards the end of my prep. Every night, I'd be scrolling through Instagram looking at food. I'd be making up food orders of what I'm going to order after the show. All I think about is what I'm going to eat post-show. I don't have that right now at all. Like, I'm going to be open and honest. I'm on much lower food this time around, but I'm a lot less food focused. And... After the show last weekend, my coach did give me a bit of an evening off. And the first thing that came to my mind that I was craving was a big bowl of oats. The first thing you saw, the first thing I had after I stepped off stage was an apple. Then I came home, I had a big bowl of oats with fresh fruit from the market, with nut butter, had a few extra rice cakes, and I couldn't even finish it. It defeated me, you know, this just, this just shows how goal-driven I am right now. And that is my main goal for this year. You know, give my best, do my best, bring the best package that I physically can to stage with the time I have, enjoy every second up there, and then dive into an off season and make it the best one I've ever had in my life. Because I know I can do it. I believe I can do it. Because if I mess up again, I'm, I can't call myself a bodybuilder. You know, I've, I've struggled enough. It's time to... It's time to really act like a pro because in order to be a pro, you have to act like one. And that is who I want to be. And I believe I can do it. Like I'm genuinely excited for my off season meal plan. Like instead of looking at food posts, instead of ordering post-show cookies, I've been creating a meal plan as I cycle on my spin bike in the mornings. And I kind of ask myself like what am I craving and honestly it's food that I used to have in my plan that I just can't have anymore because of having no carbs or very low food I just can't afford to have those foods like all I want right now is oats cream of rice rice so I'm very excited I'm very excited for what's to come I am excited for the iron oats even though I'm absolutely terrified 
I'm very excited. And this will also be a very special show because first of all, it's a huge show. But second of all, I have my mom going with me. I have my boyfriend going with me. And my coach is going to be there and my team is going to be there and it's going to be amazing. And also, which I forgot to mention, um, so obviously I'm competing as an amateur at the Air Notes. However, in the evening there is a pro show, which I'm going to watch. And I've never been so excited. I've never seen a real pro show. I've never seen pros doing their thing. And... Most importantly, I'm going to see a competitor that really means a lot to me because it's the first competitor that I ever followed online. It's the competitor that introduced me to the world of bikini that I hadn't a clue about before. I'd be going to the gym, but I didn't know there was such a thing as competing. And then I came across her and so her name is Ada Katmarek and she's Polish. And two years ago, she was the first ever Polish woman to make it to the Olympia. And then last year qualified again. So just the fact that I'm going to see her up on stage, maybe even backstage if I'm lucky enough. It's just, it's just huge. You know, this show is going to be amazing and I'm going to enjoy every minute of it, no matter how I do. As I said before, even if I come last, I'm so damn proud of myself this year. I've never worked this hard in my life and the best thing is that it's probably the hardest I'll ever have to work because I'm not going to mess up my off season again. I'm going to put in the work all year round to put myself in an ideal position to start a prep again next year and have a proper structured decent prep and off season. So that's that. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there's any questions for me, feel free to drop them below. Please don't forget to like, click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And I will chat to you very, very soon because I am 10 days out from the Arnold and I will definitely have a YouTube video up before then as well. I will probably film a Peak Week vlog again because this Peak Week might look a little different to last one. I'm definitely going to film loads over there, especially having so much people with me. It'll be a bit easier to get footage. And I might do a little sit down chit chat video at some stage. You know, I've been wanting to do a video explaining my last off season. What really happened, because a lot of people don't know. If you follow me on Instagram, which the link is in the bio. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, you wouldn't know. I'm very open and honest about what I've gone through with my binge eating and this prep and everything. I, I have nothing to hide, you know. It's happened. But that's the thing. It happened, but it won't happen again. But anyway, I've been very open and honest about it. So I definitely want to open up here as well. Sit down, talk to you, explain everything. And I feel like that would really help some people that might be going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing and just don't know what to do. So that is definitely a video I want to do. But until then, next time you'll see me, I will probably be getting ready to step on the Arnold stage. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.